Bonjour. Welcome to another episode of Cuisine de Michel. I am Michel. So today I'm going to be making some peanut butter chocolate chip cookies from the site crazyforcrust.com. I've never made these before, so hopefully they're great. They sound great. So I've started already by putting a half cup of creamy peanut butter and one half cup of unsalted butter that's melted into the mixer. And we're just going to mix a bit so that these two can combine. All right, so we've mixed the peanut butter and butter together. And now we're going to be adding one quarter cup of granulated sugar. And two thirds cup of light brown sugar that's packed. And then we're going to mix those in. Okay, so now we've mixed in the sugars and we're going to be adding in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one large egg. And now we'll mix those in really well. Okay, so now that we've mixed in the vanilla and the egg, the next step is to mix in the flour. I've actually uh, added the half teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of baking soda into uh, one and a quarter cups of flour, which is 5.31 ounces. And that's how I measured it. So we're gonna add this just a little at a time. And mix it in. Okay, so now I've mixed the uh, rest of the flour in and we've added one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips into here. We're gonna stir this in and then it's going to go into the refrigerator for 30 minutes before we uh, will be baking the cookies. So just before I pull the dough out of the refrigerator, I'm going to turn my oven on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now the dough has been chilling for 30 minutes and we scooped it out onto the parchment lined baking sheet. I used a, about a tablespoon and a half scooper. I think the recipe says to do two. So I just went with that and maybe overfilled it slightly. And then it also says to make um, it flat by using a fork. So you can see I have little fork prints in there. So now we're going to take those and put them in the oven for eight to 12 minutes. And it says to wait until the um, wet cookie look has just disappeared and it starts to barely brown around the edges. So we'll see how long my oven takes for that. Okay, so these went for 10 minutes. I literally just pulled them out of the oven. So I'm going to let them sit and finish a little bit on the sheet. It doesn't say in the recipe whether or not to do that, but generally that's a good idea to let your cookies at least rest for a couple of minutes. And then I'm gonna transfer them to wire rack and then we'll see how they taste. Okay, so these cookies are absolutely fabulous. Look at these, these are done. And I ended up leaving them on the cookie sheet for quite a while after taking them out of the oven just to make sure that they are uh, nice and done and they are still very soft even so. Uh, after the second batch, I ended up going more than the 10 minutes. Uh, depending on how big you make the cookies, like the second batch, I made them slightly larger, so I went 12 minutes. Uh, the last batch, I ended up going 11, so really just watch very carefully, uh, but definitely recommend these cookies. And thank you for joining me for another episode of Cuisine de Michel. Please be sure to like, share, and especially please subscribe. And I hope to see you again très bientôt. Au revoir. Sure.